I just wanted to make a quick video really quick to show you kind of the ins and outs of technology in fourth grade. Um, so when your child logs into their computer, the first thing they will do is get into Clever. And if you're not sure where Clever is at, there is a tab um, called gcmsk12.org bookmarks. Um, if you go to that, Clever is the one on the bottom. So the first thing they want to do is get into Clever because that's kind of where everything is at. Um, you will see kind of some favorites here. This is the main apps that we do use in fourth grade. Most of them are pretty self-explanatory. Uh, the one that I really want to focus on today, though, is Google Classroom. So this is where most of the action happens, I guess you could say. Um, if Once they do click on Google Classroom, it will take them to a page that looks like this. This is kind of the landing section. So um, they will find all of their classes here. Um, they'll see specials classes, probably art, music, PE, um, computers. But once they get here, they'll want to click on our classroom page. So I'm going to show you what our page looked like from last year's Google Classroom. Um, once they click on that, it will take them to an opening page called the stream. Now, it's really important that they actually switch over to the classwork section. The stream is kind of a mess. It's just a um, constant update on what has been added or um, anything like that. The classwork session is much more organized. So when they go here, they will start to see um, a page with a bunch of different topics. The topics are organized by subject material. So they, I have like a reading group section, their morning journals, writing, social studies, reading, science. Um, we had a remote learning last year and math. Um, the main thing that we will do daily is reading logs and reading group work um, on Google Classroom. Everything else is more just depending on the day. So if they go down to the reading section, they'll see the reading logs. Now, I'll use um, our most recent reading log. It says reading log week of May 17th as an example. Um, when they get here and they click on that, they'll want to hit view assignment. So once they are here, they'll see where their work is at. They can click on that and it will take them to the link that has the reading log. So this is done on Google Slides. They have Monday through Friday here. And then um, once they are finished with that, at the end of the week, there's a button in the assignment slide that says turn in. So let's just hit this turn in button and it'll do it for them. Now it's really cool. Once they turn something in, they can also always unsubmit it as well. And if they ever want to edit anything or change anything, they can just hit unsubmit and they'll get it back. Okay, and then, um, like I said, another thing that we usually do daily is reading group work. So if they go to that section, let's say they're in the Darth Paper Strikes Back group. Um, I always have an audio book that's an option if they want to listen to that. And this is just listed as material. So if they click on it, they can then go and hit view material. Likewise, like view assignment. Click on the audio book. And then listen. And it, the discs are right there. All right, and then there's also some questions here too that they can answer. It might be based on chapter, um, but anything else will be in this specific subject. So maybe you want your child to work on their states. So you could see that there's like a Northeast, Southeast practice here in social studies. Um, and if they were to have any questions at any point though about where to find something or how to get um, a certain assignment running. They can also always email me at any time. And that's kind of um, the ins and outs of technology for uh, 4D.